Alright guys, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. This is Never Stop Gaming SMP episode 9. Uh, last episode, we worked on this castle, laying it out, getting this wall. And off camera, I've kind of uh, come up with a design for the tower. Um, so we will be returning to work on this uh, sometime. But this episode, <clears throat> I'm going to be going over to the community shopping area. And while this isn't really a shop... Um, it's something that really belongs in the shopping area. I'm going to be making a version of the Death Games. Now, uh, if you don't know what the Death Games is, I can explain it real quick. But I guess, uh, actually I will explain it on our way over there. Um, so let's fly over here. Oh, and I should mention that, uh, before I go through this, uh, you'll see that I did, uh, also do our nether tunnel, uh, off camera. Just hanging out with some people in a call, uh, was working. Uh, while well, they were also just playing, doing some stuff. Um, so yeah. Okay. So loud. So this is the uh, nether tunnel design I came up with. It kind of incorporates uh, the castle build a lot uh, with the block palette and stuff. I really, really like it. Uh, the dark oak didn't look too good here because it like was like a lot of contrast to every other like block. So I went with acacia and that's then why I decided to do Acacia on the castle. Because uh, I actually had this uh, done uh, kind of during the last episode. But yeah, and then I added spruce leaves because they don't change color in the nether. Uh, so they're still green and nice. And then just lighting, you know, under the wool. Uh, as per usual. So we can talk real quick about the, uh, the purge. Um, I was in the purge but i was not able to record the purge i had uh, family over i was kind of in and out uh doing a bunch of stuff um but i did actually win the purge i believe um just based on deaths versus kills i only got two deaths the entire purge but i think i got nine or ten kills uh if i go and look back um at other people's footage uh, of the event uh, but the purge is going oh whoops the purge is going to be uh, a weekly thing now, and there are changes coming to it uh, to make it more fun instead of just pointless killing. So stay tuned for that uh, and people's purge episodes coming shortly. Um, so yeah, we're here at the shopping district, and I want to make a Death Games building. Essentially what the Death Games is, is more killing, um, but uh, it's got a cool twist on it. So the Death Games... Uh, is voluntary you'll come to the shop if you want to participate and you'll find there'll be a chest with a sword in it uh with your name on it um for all the members here on the server and they can take the sword and put it into the system and the system randomly will spit out someone's name every uh couple minecraft days or so um and that person is pretty much on the chopping block. If someone comes here and they see their name, there's a set of specific armor that they have to get so that it's hard. Um, it'll just be like iron or something. And then like a, a normal diamond sword, no enchants. Uh, and then they can go track down that person and kill them. But only if their name is also entered into the death games. So in order to go kill people, you also have to have your name in the death games uh, cycle. So that you can also uh, be killed. Um, the winner, ha whoever, you know, wins the battle has to pay the loser one diamond and then you gotta remember to bring back the armor and, uh, the weapon, uh, back here. I will work on, you know, making sure that the armor and weapons are kept in check and up to date. Um, but yeah, it should be, uh, pretty cool. Oh, and they also have to record or stream if they are going to be uh, killing someone obviously if you're gonna get killed you don't know but the person uh hunting has to be recording or streaming uh so that should hopefully provide some fun little content for the members here um essentially i believe etho was the one who started it on a minecraft on the minecraft server like a long long time ago um but yeah it's actually become a uh, halfway decently common i guess i don't know uh or I always build it on servers that I'm a part of. Um, and it always ends up being really fun. I'm probably going to make it right around this area. Uh, just, you know, make do the system with some redstone and then build a nice little building around it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get started on that and uh, figure out the redstone first. I'm actually going to be doing the 
function of this first and then the building on the outside um, since I don't really know how much space I'm going to need. But I'm going to get working on that and then I'll see you guys when I have some progress. Alright guys, I am back and that is the mechanism all built up. Uh, quite confusing, I had to look up a few videos to figure it out. Ended up following this one guy's tutorial. Uh, super cool. Uh, if I remember, I will put a link down to that video in the description if you guys want to build this uh, as well. But essentially, you hit this button and it will cycle out the system. You know, you'll put, you know, the name, your name or your sword in the chat and then push the button. It'll, it'll put it in the system every few days or so because of this clock. It will cycle in, out a new name into the system is a, a bare bones way of putting it. And, um, this little circuit right here uh, ensures that there can be up to like 28, 27, 28 players, I think. Um, so yeah, plenty for us on the industry because I think there's about 18, 19 of us currently. Um, and of course, if someone leaves or someone joins, I will update it and uh, add their name to the building. Um, but speaking of the building, I now have to make the building. So I'm going to come up with the design and work on that real quick. So I'll show you guys when I'm done. Alright guys, the building is done, uh, I think it looks really really nice, and on the inside we have all the guts contained, the daylight sensor is right under there, and uh, let's see the inside. So it says, uh, instructions and rules, in order to participate in the death games you must find your name in the chest to the left, place your name in the target chest and press the button to insert your name into the system every few hours, that button, every few hours. The system will select a random name and put them in the target chest. If the target is online and you are also entered into the system, then you may hunt the target. However, you must use the given armor and weapons only. Lights are permitted. Pressing the button to cycle through names is prohibited. Any hunting must be recorded or streamed by the hunter to document the event. Whoever prevails in battle will be given one diamond by the loser. Remember to return the provided armor and weapons. Happy hunting. Uh, here's the target chest. Um, yeah, uh, right now I think I'm the only one uh, who has entered. Um, but yeah, here's all the equipment. Um, so yeah, I think it'll be really fun and provide uh, you know, some cool content uh, for the members of the server. I know I will be checking that regularly. Um, but yeah, so I think for the rest of the episode, we are going to uh, work on maybe the castle a little bit. And I want to show you guys a little bit of work that I did um, for a bud, a uh, new guy on the server named Kasadev or Holden. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna head over to his base and show you what uh, we did there. All right, so here we are at Holden's uh, place. Uh, just to give you kind of a sense of area, Zealous's castle is right there. You can see it. Um, and so he's just right over this hill. You come down this really really cool area um, with a double ravine down here. But uh, let's not fall down there. Um, lots of vines and cool place to uh, have some stuff. I think it looks really, really nice. And he asked me to help him get a theme established here. I actually think turn that back because you can't see uh, what's going on right there. Uh, but yeah, uh, he wanted to get a theme established, uh, so I helped him with that. Um, but essentially, you know, it's very old, rickety uh, style, and so kind of come down here I mean going up this way you know, we've got this old you know scaffolding type looking staircase uh, and this is carved into the mountain little bridge pathway you can go over there another one of these uh, watchtower <laughs> up tree yeah you can go up the tree and kind of look out uh, I think he's gonna have an enchant table right in there and then next to uh, this house and he's gonna have a bridge uh, but I kind of helped him with the house and the pass, and uh, he's going to kind of take it from there. Uh, but I thought I'd show you guys uh, the work uh, that Dash Building Incorporated uh, put in for him. Place looks really cool, and uh, yeah, I just really like it. So now we are going to head back over to uh, our base and work some on the castle. And also, I hope you guys are enjoying the Faithful. A um, couple people requested that I use Faithful instead. So I switched over, um, but yeah, I don't know if it's going to stay, uh, but it is nice, you know, I like the default look, you know, Faithful keeps pretty true to default, uh, so yeah, I'm going to head back over to the base, 
and uh, we can work on the castle a little. All right, so we are back over at the castle, and I've worked a little bit more on the, the wall and the, this tower. I really like the design of this tower now, so this is going to be the one uh, we take and translate over to the other tower designs. Um, so I think for the rest of this episode, I really just want to finish up maybe this tower, uh, get this one, and then come out with a wall design uh, for this little block right here. And, uh, and then I'll be back to close out the episode. Um, so yeah, I'm, let me work on this and kind of come up with the design and I will be back. Alright guys, so we have finished up and we have also put it on the other side. So let's fly real quick, show you this. Sorry, I have the hiccups. It's on the other side. Uh, I definitely have a lot of terraforming to do um, coming up here pretty shortly. Maybe next episode, maybe the one after that. Uh, but yeah, really happy with how this is turning out. I'm really looking forward to doing the rest of this project. Uh, Kenzie, it's been a ton of fun. Um, but that is all the time I have for, for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, my name is Dash, and as always, thanks for watching.